10 best places to visit in the Republic of Congo. Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displo and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall travel to Central Africa to discover the 10 best places to visit in the Republic of Congo. The Republic of the Congo, also known as Congo Brazzaville, the Congo Republic or simply either Congo or the Congo, is the country located in the western coast of Central Africa. To the west of this country lies Gabon, Cameroon to its northwest and the Central African Republic to its northeast, the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the southeast and the Angolan exclave of Cabinda to its south and the Atlantic Ocean to its southwest. The French-speaking country was dominated by Bantu-speaking tribes about 3,000 years ago, who built straight links leading into the Congo River Basin. The Republic of the Congo was established on 28 November 1958 and gained its independence from France in 1960. It has become the fourth largest oil producer in the Gulf of Guinea, providing the country with a degree of prosperity despite political and economic instability in some areas and an equal distribution of oil revenue nationwide. Congo's economy is heavily dependent on the oil sector and economic growth has slowed considerably since the post-2015 drop in oil prices. Despite the woes of this country, the diversity of wildlife, beaches, exotic locations and biodiversity of this country not only represents the African concept but then presents a magnitude of opportunity for visitors from around the world to enjoy true tourism. Amongst the dozens of tourist worthy spots in this country, in this video, we shall explore 10 of them. But first, if you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss any of our videos. Number 10. Mayombe Mountains Spread over 2,000 square kilometers, this region is the southern western part of the tropical rainforest in the Congo Basin. It falls into four countries of Africa, namely Angola, the Republic of Congo, Capone, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, but is still a protected area and soon to be made into a biosphere reserve. The old forest of Mayumbe is dotted by flora, which vary from dense forest to savanna dotted with forest trees. Some of the trees are valuable, especially the limba, which are magnets to environmental tourists. Palm trees are plentiful in the Elias Mayumbe and are found in forests and in the savanna. They form one of the great resources of this region for its inhabitants. The area offers rainforest trekking, photography takes and the most adventurous opportunities for adventurous visitors. Number 9. Dioso Gorge Dioso is a town in the Republic of Congo, lying about 25 kilometers north of Pointe Noire in the Kolio department along the National Highway 5. It was the capital of the Luango Kingdom and is home to its rulers Mosolum. Roman Catholic missionaries were active in Dioso, which had a royal palace. Erosion in the area has created the nearly Dioso Gorge, known as the Grand Canyon of the Congo, and has also been called the Dioso Amphitheatre. Within the gorgeous rainforest, there are rock ridges and distinctive red rock cliffs, which can reach up to 50 meters in height. The New York Times described Dioso Gorge as a stunning gorge of plunging, pink cliffs draped with green Central African jungle. The gorge is said to be inhabited by the female spirit of Moma, who takes the form of a snake. Number 8. Ubangi Rivers the Ubangi River is the largest right bank tributary of the Congo River in the region of Central Africa, which begins at the confluence of the Mbomo and Uele rivers, then flows west, forming the border between Central African Republic and Democratic Republic of the Congo. Subsequently, the Ubangi bends to the southwest and passes through Bangi, the capital of the CAR, after which it flows south, forming the border between Democratic Republic of the Congo and Republic of Congo. The Obangi finally joins the Congo River at the Liranga. The Obangi's length is about 1,060 km and its total length with the Uele is the longest tributary which is 2,270 km. Its discharge at Bangi ranges from about 800 cubic meters per second to 11,000 cubic meters per second with an average flow of about 4,000 cubic meters per second which is such a magical sight to behold for the lovers of falling water. Number 7. Lefini Fauna Reserve The Lefini Fauna Reserve is a protected reserve of Congo established since the 20th of November 1951, covering a total area of 6,300 km square. The reserve is mainly for the protection and conservation of the endangered species of western gorillas which were threatened by civil wars, poaching as well as the Ebola virus. The reserve is divided into three sectors, where to the south is the vast savanna vegetation, the eastern side is habituated by inhabitants. Tourists can go gorilla trekking and safari tours around the reserve. 
fishing, wildlife watching, bird watching, and several cultural experiences can be had here and when it's time to go home, you can go with unique memorable souvenirs from the reserve. Number 6. Weso Weso is a town in the Northern Republic of the Congo, lying on the Sanga River and surrounded by rainforest. Linked by a ferry with Brazzaville, it is known for the pygmy people who live nearby. Access to the town is also excellent given that it is served by the Weso Airport. The town is a perfect place for a stopover to head to the other places in Congo and remind its visitors of its ancient history. Besides playing transits, the town is one of the four economic zones in Congo and play an important role, fostering the economic strategies of the country. Number 5. Lufulakari Falls and the Bella Falls The Lufulakari and Bella Falls are beautiful waterfalls located not far from Brazzaville. The Lufulakari Falls lies 80 km southwest of Brazzaville in the Republic of the Congo at the confluence of the Lufulakari River and the Congo River. They are famous for being the most impressive waterfalls of the country and offer a very beautiful view of the Congolese rainforest. The once extremely popular tourist sites have become even more complex to access over time, but reaching them can be achieved within 24 hours of traveling for those committed to enjoy the descending beauties. As a bonus, the Congolese rainforest just nearby offers the best views and trekking experience any tourist can have. Number 4. Dolizi Dolizi, known as Lubomo between 1975 and 1991, is a city in the western province of Nyari, which is the country's third largest city and an important commercial center. The city lies on the eastern edge of the coastal rainforest with roads and buildings which remind visitors of its French colonial past. Looking above the reddish atmosphere, one will be transferred to the times of the French rule with bridges, churches and museums that show us the true essence of those days. Although many will argue that Dolisi is not the best tourist site in the Congo, but this town is the best place to enjoy the warm locals of the country in their most natural ways and enjoy the sweet conversation of the people in the Congo for those who are looking for a more human connected visit. Number 3. Pointe Noir Pointe Noir is the second largest city in the Republic of the Congo, following the capital of Brazzaville and an autonomous department since 2004. It is situated on a headland between Pointe Noir Bay and the Atlantic Ocean, serving as the main commercial center for the country. This financial hub is the home to oil industries as well as a variety of wildlife and beaches all at the same time. Pointe Noir's best and most popular beaches are located to the south of the city, which are known locally as the Wild Coast. Amongst the exquisite beaches offering different activities and views, Côte Sauvage is considered the best beach in Pointe Noir. There are lots of stalls serving fresh fish and cold beers, as well as plenty of room to escape the crowds to enjoy a tranquil me time. Number 2. Odala National Park Odala Kokoa National Park is a national park in the Republic of the Congo. The park was first protected in 1935, declared a biosphere reserve in 1977, and granted official designation by presidential decree in 2001. Odala Kokoa has approximately 100 mammals, species, and one of the continent's most diverse primate populations. This is one of the nominated UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is also an important bird area as labeled by BirdLife International. Amongst other national parks in Africa, Odala National Park has a whole lot to offer in terms of biodiversity, especially as it is the home to a wide range of birds and species of animals like gorillas, elephants, antelopes, chimpanzees, hyenas, buffaloes, and crocodiles. Activities which will interest wildlife lovers in this park include safari tours, camping and instructed forest walks and treks. Number 1. Brazzaville If you are the visitor who enjoys where the action lies, the capital and largest city Brazzaville is the best place for you to start your Congo exploration. Constituting the financial and administrative center of the country, it is located on the north side of the Congo River, opposite Kinshasa, the capital city of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Comprising more than a third of national populace, this city is a melting pot of cultural diversity, music and the hub of the country. In 2013, Brazzaville was designated a city of music by UNESCO and since then it has also been a member of the Creative Cities Network. Being the main hub of markets and other metropolitan facilities, Brazzaville on its own accord is also an essential tourist spot. Situated on the bank of the majestic Congo River, Brazzaville is a spot where you can get a head start for your vacation to Pointe Noire and many other locations in the country. There you have it explorers, those were the top 10 places to visit in the Republic of the Congo. Thanks for watching this video and if you did enjoy this video, do want to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.